Community members in Madison County are calling for change after two people were killed at an intersection in Berea. Dejiana Wilson joins us in studio with a look at the safety steps the community is pushing for to help save lives. Yes, Andrea, what should have been a joyous time for Caitlin Crow and her late fiance Jeffrey Crow turned to tragedy when a drive home ended in his death. Community members say the intersection where it happened has been a danger for far too long. He is everything. That's, I have our everything now, but before him, he was everything for me. Caitlin and Jeffrey Crow were living the life many dream of. On December 17th of last year, they got engaged and just a week later found out they were expecting a baby. Because I bought the like the little chalk for like the air and stuff because he wanted to put it in his muffler for his bike. Because that man loved his bike. Her name was Pearl. On February 19th, Jeffrey was headed home after a day at his sister's, a place he'd often go. He was leaving there. He let his bike warm up. Um, and he was going, started going down 25 and he got in front of the, uh, the fitness center down there and the man pulled right out in front of him from Slate Lick. A road he frequently traveled on was the road he died on. The first of two victims this year who lost their life at the intersection. Hurts me more than anything is seeing the lines from his accident, from the bike, um, just the trail that he had been on whenever he, you know, it was the last time he was alive. Caitlin says she never imagined an intersection they'd often chat about being dangerous because of the low lighting, heavy traffic, and high speed of drivers will be the place he lost his life. Because you wouldn't believe how many people will just blow right through that stop sign on Slate Lick and just not care. They won't even look. And it's just like, you can't do that. We're going 60 miles an hour down this road. This is why Caitlin, her father-in-law, and Sabrina Mahaffey, the mother of the other victim, have joined forces and are calling on local government to finally make a change to ensure all drivers at this intersection are safe. Just to start, I would like to get um, an orange caution light over 25 and then a red caution light from Slate Lick. Um, our end goal is to get an actual um, road light. She says the days without her fiance won't get easier, but her and baby Everett will continue to stay strong and fight so no one else has to deal with the lifelong trauma. It's been something else, but we're making it. And as of right now, you know, he doesn't know any different. So, and he won't for a while, but when he does, I think that'll be really, really hard for us. A petition has been started to install better lighting at the intersection. For more details, visit our website at fox56news.com. Back to you, Andrea.